He was dubbed a hero by Prince Harry and got a special invitation to the royal wedding. But tonight he tells us how he copes with the day-to-day -day challenges life throws at him. In the first of a special series, former Royal Marine and double amputee Ben McBean takes us on his own road to recovery. On the 28th of February 2008, we were out on a, a normal foot patrol as per usual, just clearing our area. Um, and we were running across some open ground trying to go towards the compound to clear it, as you would do. And uh, before I knew it, I was like upside down, falling down. And then when I sat up, my leg was missing. Just crawled around for five, five minutes, and then the lads kind of came through and rescued me. Then I woke up in the UK with my arm and leg missing. When I, when I first woke up, I was a bit like, obviously a bit depressed, I suppose, and I was what, it was just like coming up to my 21st birthday, and I was just like, what's the point, do you know what I mean? Because I didn't think I'd meet a girl again. Obviously at 20 years old, you know, that's kind of things you think about, women and things like that, you know, because you've got your whole life headier. So at that kind of moment in time, I didn't really want to live, I suppose. I had a little cry on about the second day, for about 10 minutes with my dad on that left side, uncle on the right hand side, I had a little cry. And I remember going, like, that's the last time I'll cry with that now. And I haven't done it since. Well, I've managed to get my head around the fact that my limbs aren't growing back, which at one stage I did kind of think, I wonder if they will grow back, but they didn't. Um, my mum felt a bit bad at the time because she kind of thought that she couldn't get ill or get old or anything, because I was basically like a newborn baby again. I was young, fit, strong, independent. Went away for like two or three months, came back, couldn't eat or drink by myself or anything like that, couldn't go to the toilet by myself. A few years ago, my goal was to sit up in my hospital bed and transfer from my bed to a wheelchair and back. And I worked and worked and worked and I'd done it. Next goal was to walk, run, eat, drink, cook, feed myself, which I've done. Then I got discharged. Next goal, think of what you want to do and just go and do it. And that's just the way of what I keep on going. I can't sit there and dwell on the past. I suppose officially I am disabled and I've got a blue badge and all that palaver. But I mean, I'm not really disabled, I just struggle to do things. The only problem I've got is I feel a bit weird sometimes walking around outside in public like this. And the strange thing is everyone knows I've only got, let's say, one arm and it's false. But I still have to kind of wear it. I suppose for the people who don't know, because sometimes I just want to, like if I'm walking around Sainsbury's shopping, I just want to walk around Sainsbury's and just shop without being like disturbed. I wasn't like great with girls before anyway, so when this happened, it was just like brilliant, you know, just not doing myself any favours whatsoever. So that was a big difficulty for me, going out and like, obviously if I met a girl who I didn't really know, let's say I've got to either explain straight away, I've got like two limbs missing, and just see if they run away or not, or don't say anything and have them wondering why I'm carrying one drink back from the bar, then going back again, or wondering why I'm using the disabled toilet, or I can't walk up these 25 stairs because there's no banister, things like that. And then I ended up meeting Sophie, who I went to school with anyway. Two years down the line, we we're still together. So yeah, it's, it's been great because that was my main concern. It's hard to not put a big barrier up against everyone and blame the world, if you know what I mean. I've always wanted a family, so now I've being like blown up or whatever, I still want a family. Like I'm still fortunate enough that I can have a family, because um, I did lose a testicle and everything down there, so that was a bit of a concern. So now I can have a family. I, I still want one. So that's the thing. Like I still think exactly the same. Like before my injury, I wanted a nice girlfriend, I wanted a nice flat, a nice car, have a family. I wanted to go out and have a drink, and I still want to do all those things now. I'm sure that will happen because. Why not? <laughs>